So what's the difference between frogs and toads? Let's dive in and find out. If you're curious to learn more about these fascinating creatures, make sure to subscribe for more amazing facts about frogs and toads. If you've thought about the frog versus toad question at all, you've probably assumed that these amphibians are two very different animals, but the real answer might surprise you. Toads belong to the order Anura and are actually a subset of frogs. All toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. Christopher Raxworthy, now curator of herpetology at the American Museum of Natural History, told Mental Floss in 2015, in popular use, toad seems to be used to refer to any frog that has a dry, warty skin and short legs. Here's how you can tell the difference between frogs and toads and how true toads fit into the equation. Frogs and toads, while often confused, have distinct characteristics that set them apart. Frogs typically have smooth, moist skin and are closely associated with aquatic environments, where they excel at leaping and swimming. Toads, on the other hand, possess bumpy, dry skin and prefer drier habitats. Their movement is more grounded, they tend to hop or walk rather than leap. These differences reflect their unique adaptations to their respective ecosystems. Differences in appearance are quite noticeable. Frogs and toads have different kinds of skin. If you see an animal that has dry and pebbly skin, you're looking at a toad. Don't worry, touching a toad won't give you warts. That's a myth. Frog skin is moist and smooth. Frogs have slim bodies and long legs, which are better for long leaps and fast swimming, whereas toads have short forelimbs and hop or walk. Toads also have big glands behind their eyes called paratoid glands, which produce poison. So, different amphibians actually prefer different habitats. Frogs, for example, like to be in water to keep their skin moist. Toads, on the other hand, are most often seen on land since they have skin that's better at retaining moisture. This means they can wander farther from bodies of water. Both frogs and toads breed in water but you know their spawn looks different. Frogs lay their eggs in clusters while toads generally lay their eggs in long chains. According to Discover Wildlife, frogs are capable of breeding and spawning in colder temperatures than toads. There's also a group that scientists call true toads. They belong to the family Bufonidae, which consists of about 50 genera and nearly 600 species. These true toads are native to all continents except Antarctica and Australia. The cane toad, which is currently marching its way across Australia, was actually brought there back in the 1930s. As Raxworthy explained, they are recognized as a natural group based on DNA and skeletal characters. For example, true toads don't have any teeth and the skin on their head is typically ossified to the skull. But even in that group, the distinction between toad and frog isn't necessarily clear. Raxworthy also said, many have a dry warty skin, but not all. If you saw a member of the genus Atelopus, you'd probably assume it was a regular frog. But these colorful amphibians, which hail from Central and South America, are also true toads. And just to make things even more confusing, any number of frogs get called toads, even though they actually aren't like those in the Bombinidaridae family. Nature, it's complicated. Now that you know the difference between frogs and toads, feel free to read up on the difference between a cricket and a grasshopper, bison and buffalo, and of course, pigeons and doves.